All right, about to put a well in. So this is basically the supplies that I have here. So here's what I'm starting off with. This is the well point that you can drive. So you'll drive that first into the soil. I've already connected it to a five foot section and put on a, uh, a drive coupling there. So it's actually, let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit stronger than your average coupling. And use some of this pipe dope to seal it real well and a couple pipe wrenches. So the hole that I've already dug is about, probably about up to here. So I figured I would just attach this and start drilling or hammering it down. So I'm gonna be using this sledgehammer, little ladder and get it in there. I'm only gonna, I'm aiming to get it down about, you know, five feet, about right there. The water is, the water table down where we're going is probably like a foot underground. Like I dug a hole, uh, I dug a hole last week and it filled right up. So it's unfortunately pretty far away from where my camp is set up it's way down this hill but uh otherwise we'd be drilling down like 60 feet or something if we we're going right here it's on quite a hill so so yeah i'm gonna go down get this in hopefully it's pretty easy it's all sand and then so this will Okay, so then this is gonna go on top of that. So I can open and close this and keep the water in there if I want. So I can keep that primed if I want. So I don't have to prime it every time. The leather in there gets dry apparently. I've never done this, but the leather in there gets dry. And uh, if you don't keep it primed, you don't attach something like this, it will, you'll have to prime it every time. Basically you pour water in here and let it sit. So these leather pieces in there that are like gaskets, they get uh, real wet and then it makes it work better or it makes it work um, at all. Like when it's dry, it can't work. So this is an idea I stole from uh, Bush Radical, their channel. They have, he has all this kind of stuff. So this is totally his idea. I'm following his plan. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. Forgot to mention the drive cap. So this will go on the end here. This will be screwed on. If I can't really get that off with one hand, basically that'll be screwed on. And this is much, you know, so you're not gonna damage the threads. You screw this on and you can hammer the top of this with a sledgehammer to get it down as deep as you need to go. There's a hole already filled with water. Okay, so I drove the pipe in. Pretty uh, uneventful, went about five feet down. But the drive cap was getting crooked and I didn't notice it. I think the drive cap damaged the threads a little bit or possibly a lot. So we'll see. I'm gonna try to get this next piece on there. And uh, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to re-thread it somehow. Figure that out. Okay, so got it in pretty good, but yeah, these threads are, yeah, I don't know. That's gonna work. Okay, so this went on. It is very crooked though. I don't know how well this is gonna seal. I put a lot of pipe dope on there. It might not work. What I might have to do is basically like re-thread this. Oh my God, these mosquitoes are insane. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put the well pump on there and see what happens, you know? Okay, well that's a fail. It's pulling in air right here somewhere so 
So actually, it still works a little bit. Oh, it's really leaking out of there. Like if I seal it up with my hand like that, it actually comes out. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. And I put a bunch of putty on there. It's kind of a temporary fix. I don't expect it to last long. Let's see how it works. I'm getting much better pressure. Oh yeah, that's much better. Nice, it actually worked. Still super brown. Sweet. All right, so little well recap here. Um, one thing you have to do with that drive point, or that drive cap, I should say, you gotta make sure it's super tight on there. I did not do that, and it ended up warping the threads um, because it's kind of getting pushed back and forth. So I didn't tighten it up as much as I should have and make sure it's stop, take a break and make sure it's tightened like with a wrench, with a pipe wrench as tight as possible. So it works, the well works. There's a few threads that are still um, workable, but once you go past that, if you tighten past it, it's basically stripped. So what I did was I tightened it to a point where it's fairly tight. There's pipe dope on there, but that's not sealing it enough. It's, it was sucking in air, as you could see. So I put in a bunch of plumber's putty on the bottom and it, it's the stuff that hardens and it sealed it up real nice. I know that's not a permanent fix and we'll see how long it lasts, basically. Um, if it fails, when it fails, I'll probably just dig it up and put in a new pipe. Um, looking at re-threading, I was just doing some research. Like that's a whole process and the equipment for it is expensive. And to do it like on a pipe in the woods, that's just like vertical is not gonna work. So the pipe is cheaper. I'll just dig it up, it'll just take some time and uh, redo it. It did not take very long to, to drive that. It's only probably about six feet to the bottom. And uh, yeah, so I mean, that's kind of the lesson learned, but for now it works and the water, you know, it's coming out pretty well. So the other thing with the water though, it, it has, I think it's got a lot of tannins in it because it, it's in like a swamp area. So it's really, rust orange color which i guess doesn't really affect anything um, it also smells like sulfur which that's another thing it can be treated um, i actually got a bunch of it and and shook it up like aerate aerating it works to get rid of the sulfur smell but then it's still really orange um, from i think the tannins because it's all low-lying it's all like organic matter in there so eventually if i do have to remove that pipe i'm probably going to get another section of pipe and go at least five feet deeper and see if that alleviates some of that problem but right now i just want the water for um washing for like extra water i bring water up here from my house to drink like a five gallon thing of it and i never go through that so I'll just have an extra jug for just like the washing water, give it to the dog, things like that. So for now, I'm gonna leave it. We'll see how long it lasts. I imagine it won't last over the winter with uh, you know freezing and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a lesson learned. I didn't spend a lot of money on it. So um, I'll just have to dig it up if, if need be and, and reinstall the pipe, so. Overall though, pretty happy with it. Very easy. It took a couple hours to do total probably, if not less than that. The driving of the pipe in the sand probably took like 15, 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, worked out pretty good. So we'll see how long it lasts.